Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to disable those annoying edge swipes as well as the charms bar. Now you have to be updated to Windows 8.1 so if you haven't done so yet I have a link in the description down below which will show you how to update Windows 8 to 8.1. For now let's get started with disabling the charms bar. All right, so the corners and edge swipes as well as the charms bar are the things that appear when you scroll to the various corners of your device. Now, a lot of people find these annoying, so to delete them, it's pretty easy now with Microsoft's update to Windows 8.1. What you wanna do is go to the Metro screen right here and then start typing the word settings. And when you see PC settings appear, go ahead and click on that. It'll open up your PC settings, and what we want to do is click on PC and devices, and then from here we'll click corners and edges. Now this is going to allow us to disable the app switching as well as the corner navigation. So what we're going to do first is disable this charms bar. So when I scroll to the top right, you see we have the charms bar. So if I go ahead and disable this one right here, when I point to the upper right corner, show the charms bar. If I disable that, now when I scroll to the top right, no charms bar appears. Now that's the most annoying for people, but also this one right here, which is the multitask feature allowing you to switch between different applications. If I go ahead and swipe this one off, it'll disable that one as well. Now one thing I'm really disappointed about with this, and I thought that Microsoft was actually listening to its users, Unfortunately, if you scroll to the bottom right, even with all these things disabled, the charms bar still appears. But I do think that the most annoying was the top right because a lot of applications like Microsoft Explorer and other things like that closed with the X at the top right. So now having that, if we go into, um, let me just turn this one back on because I actually use that one. If I go to the top right, now I'm not going to mix it up with the X anymore. Nobody really goes to the bottom right unless you're actually going to be checking on things like this. This is how it probably should have been from the start, but I really would have liked it if Microsoft had disabled it completely. Anyway, if you want to bring it back, all you have to do is just go back into the same PC settings, corners and edges, and then just enable it as well. Now, there's also other features here that you can play around with, mainly uh, to deal with the app switching. But if you want to play with them and have some of them on and some of them off, you can definitely do so. Personally, I'm going to be leaving the app switching on, but I am going to turn off my charms bar. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I've got tons more videos coming up on Windows 8 with the new start menu here because there's more to it than just switching back and forth. There's actually some settings you can play around with here. And I'm going to explain them all to you and show you how to use it so it feels a little bit like how the old Windows was and you can get the most out of it. So subscribe to my channel if you're interested. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.